So it's great to hear from a number of you uh, when we talk by phone or on the Zoom call that even though your volumes are down, your grosses are up. And, and you can ask yourself, why is that the case right now? Not only are grosses up, but closing rates are that much higher. Well, we know that people are not venturing out a lot just to shop. Right now, they're venturing out when they're serious. And that's cool. And that's great. And our grosses are up with less effort on our part. But here's the question. We all know that during the transaction, you have influence on the experience. But it's the things that you do before that impact on the transaction. And it's things that you do afterwards, the impact on the relationship and whether you make a customer and an advocate. Loyalty and advocacy come after the transaction. Here's my question to you. Are you grateful for the grosses that you're getting, the higher than average grosses that you're getting currently? And what are you doing to demonstrate your thankfulness and your gratefulness? Or are you just taking it for granted? My challenge to you today is to express appreciation. This is the most fantastic time to build a following, to build loyal customers. And when somebody blesses you in a sense with higher than normal grosses, this is the time to put the extra effort in and say, thank you. Not thank you for paying us that much more. You don't need to say it in obvious terms like that, but you can demonstrate your appreciation and your thankfulness. And that is going to have a huge impact on how that customer is going to respond moving forward into the future. And so I encourage you to send at least a note of thanks. A phone call would be awesome as well. But think about it. Some of the things that we know we should be doing and under normal circumstances is hard to get our people to do. But right now they're making great money and this is where we shouldn't be thinking about ourselves. We should be thinking about how do I express appreciation to those customers who trusted us with their business and who we have an opportunity now to serve into the future. These are the customers that you wanna keep. So the question is, what are you doing to demonstrate your thankfulness to them?